This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from todaysiphone.com and this week for Jailbreak Tuesday I will be updating you guys on the current iOS 5 untethered jailbreak along with the semi-tethered jailbreak receiving an update and Surrey being ported to the iPhone 4, the iPod 4th generation along with the iPad 2. So let's get to it. Okay, so this week, Dev Team member Muscle Nerd actually posted pictures of his iPhone 4S jailbroken, and it is untethered. However, he also mentioned that he has no ETA on when it will drop, so we're still kind of left hanging on when we can expect to receive it. So last week when I mentioned the semi-tethered jailbreak, some people thought that the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 would be able to work with the uh, semi-tethered jailbreak. To clear this up, you cannot jailbreak or semi tethered jailbreak your device uh, because you actually have to be tethered jailbroken first before you actually become a semi tethered jailbroken user. Uh, basically once you tether jailbreak your device you then have to go into Cydia and download the semi tethered jailbreak in the big boss repo. So it's one long process and it's the reason I'm staying away from the semi tethered jailbreak. Actually this current update gave it some more stability and it is showing more life. I'm just not a big fan of it. I stay away until it's untethered so that's just how I am. Okay, and finally, regarding Surrey, I know a lot of people are actually anxious to get this working. You can actually already transfer the UI onto your device, but it will not connect with Apple servers. So let me explain where Surrey stands at this time. So currently, the iPhone 4 has been able to connect to Siri servers and complete commands, but the only reason this has been possible is because the iPhone 4S, which was actually jailbroken and was allowing the iPhone 4 to use it to connect to the servers and follow through with the commands. What this basically means is you would have to have a jailbroken iPhone 4S in order for your 4 to connect to those servers. So if you already have a 4S, why would you need to connect uh, to the servers with a 4? It's very complicated and there is actually no ETA on when we can expect Siri to drop. And another big, big, big issue is the fact that this is actually a copyright violation and it is clearly stated in Apple's uh, code that you may not distribute a modified software of theirs. Now I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well this is the jailbreak community, it doesn't matter. It does. This is a major violation and if they do distribute it, they could face major penalties and criminal lawsuits. So they have to be careful with how they go about completing this process and uh, they are going to be very cautious. So we can uh, in one hand say, awesome, the iPhone 4 can connect to Siri, but in the other, the chances of it actually being released to the public are very slim at this time. That is all the major jailbreak news I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please give it a thumbs up, add it to your favorites. Head on over to my YouTube page, youtube.homemadegeeksquad.com. Feel free to iMessage me at homemadegeek at gmail.com. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter at homemadegeek. You guys have a wonderful day. And as always, peace.